O God, come to my assistance. Of the 28th week in ordinary time, year one, read by Edwish Boko, sister of Our Lady of Apostles, and commented by Reverend Father Delkes Moses Manafin of the Society of African Mission. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 1, verse 16 to 25. Brethren, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For the need, the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith. As it is written, he who through faith is righteous shall live. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness of men who by their wickedness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible nature, namely his eternal power and deity, has been clearly perceived in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became fertile in their thinking and their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be the wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man or birds or animals or reptiles. Therefore, God gave them up in the loss of their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Our response shall be The heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the word of his hands. Day unto day conveys the message, and night unto night imparts the knowledge. The heavens declare the glory of God. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded. Their sound goes forth through all the earth, their message to the utmost bounds of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Alleluia! The word of the Lord is living and active, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Alleluia! Alleluia! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The glory.
glory to you, O Lord. At that time, while Jesus was speaking, a Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and sat at the table. The Pharisee was astonished to see that he did not first wash before dinner. And the Lord said to him, Now you Pharisees cleanse the outside of the cup and of the dish, but inside you are full of extortion and wickedness. You fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But give for arms those things which are within you. And behold, everything is clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, Paul decries the wisdom of the early Greek civilization which in its quest to find the origin of all things for which religion called God, they proposed many material things such as air, water, and fire. And this they worship as though they were gods. Paul stated that by the natural light of reason, people can come to the knowledge of God. However, the surest way by which we know God is by his self-revelation. Without the knowledge of God, we cannot love him. Without loving him, we cannot serve him. This is why the Catechism teaches us that God made us first to know him, then to love him, and then to serve him, that we may be happy forever with him in heaven. One way in which the Father ensured that all men are brought to the knowledge of the truth is by what we call divine revelation, in which the Father sent his Son into the world to reveal to all men his invisible face. On coming to the world, the Son preached to all, and most especially to sinners, making them his friends and his associates. In his early ministry, Jesus showed no preference. For this, he honored all invitations even the invitation of those who hated him, the Pharisees. Just as captured by today's gospel reading. As Jesus went about doing good, he is invited today by a Pharisee to a banquet. In his encounter with the Pharisee, and we may also say with other Pharisees who might have come to banquet, he used that opportunity to tell his listeners, and especially to the Pharisees, that conversion and holy life is not just an outside phenomenon, but that which begins from the inside and flows to the outside. This was to teach them that they cannot claim to be holy in the outside while they remain filthy in the inside. Dear friends in Christ, our Christian values and virtues, attitude and dispositions need to start from the inside. We cannot live our lives just in a way that we give the impression that we are holy people. This will mean that we are hypocrites, just like the attitude of the Pharisees 
which Jesus condemned. We must hence be truthful. Our interior disposition must match our exterior disposition and vice versa. Jesus did not say that we must only be holy in the inside. But on the contrary, he said, we must be holy both from the inside and also from the outside. Decide. What is seen on the outside is a reflection and also an extension of that which exists in the inside. Let us pray that we will live a holy and virtuous life, both in the inside and in the outside. May God bless his words in our hearts. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Suivez désormais sur vos smartphones et ordinateurs toutes les actualités de l'Église catholique en Afrique et dans le monde entier sur SMA Togo TV. Le Samaritain aujourd'hui, on ne l'a pas, mais c'est nous qui sommes les Samaritains. Nous devons suivre l'exemple de Jésus sur cette terre. C'est le coup de la parole, l'opportunité d'être en communion avec le Christ. SMA Togo TV est accessible 24 heures sur 24 en direct sur le www.smatogo.tv, YouTube, SMA Togo TV, Facebook, SMA Togo TV. Téléchargez l'application SMA Togo TV dans Play Store. Foi, éducation, santé, société, développement, entrepreneuriat, humour et sport, tout est passé au peigne fin sur votre web TV. SMA Togo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire. Thank you.